The Boeing 787 Dreamliner, once hailed as the symbol of a new era in aviation, it was once the burning dream of engineers, the hope of passengers, the promise of a future for airlines. But now, with the tragedy striking over 200 lives vanished in an instant, a shock that not only shook the aviation world, but also eroded the fragile trust of the public. The world calls it by chilling nicknames, Nightmare Liner, Deadliner. Why wasn't the accident truly random? What secrets were buried? And how does a symbol turn into a nightmare? Let's explore. Once celebrated as a revolution in the skies, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner arrived with a bold ambition to change everything we knew about flying. With the stunning design and promises of unmatched passenger comfort, it was hailed as the future of aviation. The aircraft boasted breakthroughs designed to redefine the flying experience. A cabin pressurized to just 6,000 feet to reduce jet lag and fatigue, increased humidity to combat dry skin and sore eyes, and whisper quiet engines that hushed the usual roar of long-haul travel. Its windows, 30% larger than standard, offered sweeping views and came with futuristic dimming technology, replacing clunky plastic shades with a smooth, touch-controlled glow. Don't stop there. This aircraft is a marvel when it was the first commercial jet built primarily from carbon fiber composites, lighter, stronger, and more fuel efficient than aluminum. This leap in material science wasn't just an innovation, it opened the door to a wave of other remarkable designs. But instead of a dream, the Dreamliner has become a nightmare. The crash involving an Air India 787 just days ago was the first fatal accident of the Dreamliner. So why was it immediately referred to by such spine-chilling nicknames? On March 20th, 2025, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration sounded a grave alarm. In a rare and urgent airworthiness directive, it ordered airlines to inspect a vital part of the Boeing 787. The forward pressure bulkhead, a structural barrier that holds back the sky at 35,000 feet. The reason is a disturbing pattern of technical missteps during assembly, improper gaps, misinstalled fasteners, and deviations from engineering specifications. While not immediately fatal, the FAA warned that these flaws could quietly accumulate until one day they don't just compromise safety. These flaws could eventually lead to fatigue cracks, corrosion, or even catastrophic failure, events that might occur suddenly and without any warning. And this is not an isolated incident. It is the latest entry in a growing dossier of failures haunting the Dreamliner program. Since 2020, Boeing has repeatedly frozen deliveries due to production defects, chief among them critical errors where the fuselage sections are joined. In response, the company set up secretive shadow factories, unofficial repair hubs hidden from public view, where over 120 grounded Dreamliners were quietly reworked away from the main assembly lines. But the story runs deeper still. In 2013, the entire global 787 fleet was grounded after multiple lithium-ion battery fires triggered onboard emergencies. That event was supposed to be a wake-up call. However, it became a warning unheeded. What was once Boeing's most ambitious project, its technical showpiece, is now the centerpiece of the mess. And it hasn't still stopped there. A new and potentially lethal threat has surfaced, this time in the aircraft's communication system. In a little-noticed FAA filing earlier this year, the agency revealed a critical flaw in the 787's radio software. The VHF radios were switching between active and standby frequencies on their own, without any input from the flight crew. The FAA was a blunt state that unauthorized frequency changes could lead to loss of communication between the flight crew and air traffic control. In other words, a silent cockpit at 40,000 feet. Public comments on the FAA docket are proof of crumbling trust. Given Boeing's history of prioritizing profits over passenger safety, I wouldn't fly on one of their planes if you paid me, wrote one user. Qatar Airways, a major Dreamliner operator, is more serious, confirming the radio issues persisted even after applying the FAA-recommended software fix. The newly uncovered flaws in the pressure bulkhead have raised a question worth pondering. Is this simply an oversight or evidence of systemic decay within Boeing's quality control? While the company insists that no structural fatigue has occurred, despite over 165,000 flight cycles, the FAA has taken no chances 
ordering inspections across all U.S. registered 787 variants from the Dash 8 to the Dash 10. The cost is estimated at $850 per aircraft, over $115,000 across the affected fleet. So, how much does the cost of public confidence? Immeasurable. Boeing says it stands with the FAA, that it will fix every flaw, no matter how small. But how many minor flaws must surface before the pattern becomes undeniable? Since the 1990s, when this company restructured its leadership, replacing engineers with Wall Street executives, concerns about safety and quality have only grown. What was once a shining example of American industrial excellence now finds itself summoned before Congress year after year, explaining the latest crisis in its production and safety practices. With a series of those problems, is Boeing truly working to fix its deep-rooted problems, or merely trying to contain the fallout and steer public attention? The most surprising one isn't what you think. The company's recent plans to shift production overseas, are they really about cost savings and avoiding tariffs, or is there a deeper motive? Could this move be aimed at sidestepping the increasing scrutiny from regulatory bodies like the FIA or the US Department of Justice, both of which have ramped up pressure in the wake of ongoing issues with the 787? and the 737 MAX, replacing the CEO may appear to be a strategic move, but whether a leadership change alone is enough to transform the entire corporate culture remains questionable. That very culture, one accused of prioritizing profits over safety, can it really be reshaped just by swapping out one person at the top? Boeing talks a lot about innovation and accountability, but no one sees the concrete actions in place to prove that real change is happening. Is relocating manufacturing, delaying deliveries, and issuing broad commitments to safety a sign of genuine reform? Or are these simply well-crafted strategies to buy time and restore confidence? These questions linger unanswered. Until we see consistent, transparent action beyond corporate statements and leadership reshuffles, it's hard to tell whether Boeing is truly addressing the root of its problems or just fighting to protect what's left of its reputation. And before these are answered, the consequences are undeniable and anything but minor. For airlines, the Dreamliner's long-running troubles have become more than just technical glitches. They are a financial nightmare. Constant inspections, repairs, and compliance with safety directives have disrupted flight schedules and inflated costs, and as trust begins to waver, they need a safer choice. The Airbus A350, the 787's direct rival, is gaining favor fast. With a reputation for reliability and operational efficiency, it's becoming the go-to alternative as the aviation industry continues to recover from the pandemic. At this point, even a single new directive from the FAA can trigger a full-scale fleet re-evaluation. But the truly unsettling part, the cost of the 787 may not just be financial. The FAA's latest directive on the forward pressure bulkhead has raised a much deeper question. Has Boeing lost control completely? At this moment, Boeing's most valuable asset, its reputation, is now its most fragile. Under mounting pressure, former CEO Dave Calhoun's resignation last year was seen as the start of a necessary overhaul. However, innovation alone won't save Boeing. What the company needs is transparency, decisiveness, and above all, a return to the fundamentals it once stood for, integrity, precision, and trust. If Boeing can't restore faith among airlines, passengers, and regulators, then the Dreamliner, once hailed as the future of aviation, may instead be remembered as its cautionary tale. And in the end, the Dreamliner may not be remembered for how it changed the skies, but for what it taught us when the quality went unchecked. We've already covered nearly every issue the Boeing 787 has faced throughout its lifetime, but no one could have predicted that this very aircraft 
once hailed as the future of aviation, would now claim over 200 lives. This comes only weeks after Boeing proudly celebrated a major milestone. One billion passengers carried on the Dreamliner, an impressive achievement for a jet that's only been flying for just over a decade. The 787 has long been a backbone of long-haul travel, with an almost flawless safety record. But you know that now, everything has changed in Ahmedabad. In conclusion, the truth will be revealed when the black box, the flight data recorder, that holds the final moments of the flight, is restored. According to the BBC, a pilot noted that fatal crashes caused by manufacturing defects are extremely rare these days. Except, of course, for that one haunting exception, the Boeing 737 MAX. Could the Dreamliner be headed down a similar path? What exactly happened that morning? Stay tuned for updates by subscribing to the channel. And before we end today's video, we'd like to extend our deepest condolences to the families and loved ones of the victims. See you in the next update.